Hi, my name is Ludas Butkus, and in this video, I want to talk about the power. Before we begin, this is not financial advice, I am not a financial advisor, and these are just purely my opinions. So, I wanted to do a quick update on what's happening in V Power, and there is happening a lot. Well, not talking about the price, but overall, they're doing very, very well. If you go to Medium, uh, they are very active and they are publishing news uh, very frequently, uh, which I like. Uh, I do want to know about a project and how it's all going. Uh, also, uh, Vpower is the biggest position uh, in my portfolio and I am following it quite closely on all the developments etc. So, firstly, uh, uh, this thing definitely got my attention when they published it is that Peter Diamandis this guy over here joined the advisory board of the power uh, Peter Diamandis if for some reason you don't know him he is uh, the chairman of the X Prize Foundation which is a foundation that every year or every two years uh, gives out a huge prize uh, for different kind of technology project to solve a different problem in the world uh, or something like that. You can read more about it if you want. And he also, he's also a co-founder and the executive chairman of Singularity University, which is a Silicon Valley business incubator. And overall, in some estimates, uh, his net worth is actually a several times higher than the market cap of Repower uh, and we'll get back to the price. So such an individual joining the advisor board I think is uh, definitely a huge huge thing and it was quite strange why the price didn't move uh, in my opinion. So next we power listed on Binance. This again was huge. Uh, before that, uh, they were trying to get on Binance through the community vote. Uh, if you were following it, uh, there was competition against one Chinese project and V Power. Uh, there was vote manipulation definitely on the Chinese one. They had like 130,000 votes while there were Telegram channel was only 20, 30,000 and VPower had like 50,000 votes but uh, VPower's Telegram channel is something around 50,000 as well so it made more sense but Binance uh, disqualified both VPower and that other project and listed Zilliqa so that was unfortunate, but they managed to get on Binance anyways. And that had an impact, uh, as it always does, on the price, but the market is still pretty bad. And yeah, the price is quite low right now. So this is definitely huge for VPower, listing on Binance. And this will definitely be a huge catalyst for growth. Uh, in the future once the market recovers in my opinion next there is a March update on all the developments and I want to quickly go through it so first first platform release will be in April so there's going to be a small alpha test uh, with some users being able to test it out but it's in April so this month already so the development is going really good and very fast. It's not like some other ICOs where you will need to wait two, three years until they start showing something uh, that you can look at. So this is definitely huge as well. Next, the full Estonian energy tokenization will be in August. So that's not far away as well. 
uh, this year in August. It's not in 2019 in August, but this year. So that's very nice to hear. Uh, next, first real energy auctions planned in November. So uh, that's a bit more far ahead, but still, uh, comparing to other ICO projects that uh, come online, this is still very, very fast. Um, next, uh, they do some more uh, how is business going in specific countries. So in Estonia, everything is as planned. Uh, development is going on well and we have enough partners that allow us to not only test the platform but also to do the first energy auction and sell energy tokens directly to the consumers. We are also expanding our development team in Estonia. So that's very good to hear. But yeah, that's basically the same as saying that we will be doing this in August. So yeah. That's very good. In Spain, last week our subsidiary was established in Spain. That's pretty much it. So in Lithuania, we are expanding our operational team. So they are growing over there as well. In Australia, uh, Australian energy market is a bit different than in Europe. Well, yeah. However, we have finished the business model that would work in the Australian market. More, more about that will be made public in April. So again, this month. So there's quite a lot of development this month happening and some more news should uh, appear in the meantime. And let's look at the price. So at its peak, we power was at 27 cents. I think this was uh, some speculation uh, that happened before a uh, devoting. Uh, on the view on the community on Binance vote so there was some hype about this and I think this was as well and then once they were not listed the price started going down as with the whole market so the market is not favorable uh, I will I think I'll do a, a whole different level uh, video about uh, the market currently but yeah, Bitcoin right now, as I'm doing this video, is below 7,000 and everything is dipping. And in my opinion, VPower is definitely not a token of 8 cents. It's just ridiculous. Uh, <clears throat> the ICO price, I think, was 12 or 13 cents. Uh, so that would be at these levels right here. So it's not too far away, but... My price prediction, and again, I'm not our financial advisor, and this is not financial advice, is at least one dollar this year. And it will not happen if the market does not come back, uh, if we continue to go down and down and down. Uh, but I do believe that it has to turn up, and even with all these developments. Uh, even in a bad market, I think there should be a huge effect on the price as well. But overall, my price prediction for this year is at least a dollar. Uh, that would put uh, it at, what would that be? So roughly 10 times, so at 300 million dollars. Um, now, when the market has dropped, it would put the power pretty high though if the market recovers everything starts to go up as well so it would be around uh, place number 40 so yeah that's my price prediction we'll see how it will go but as I said um, they have advisors with net worth higher than the current market cap of the whole token of the whole business and they are growing positive stuff so I think it's a good time to buy in uh, if you don't have any V power tokens and yeah this is it for this video I'm very bullish on V power and it's definitely a good project so this is it for this video if you have any questions 
make sure to leave them in the comments below and i will see you in the next video bye